Today we are going to dig into the scriptures and find the treasure hidden within the sometimes confusing Word of God. Matchsticks are small sparks of light that can ignite a fire. Join me for hope-filled messages as we explore the fullness of Christ and how he equips us to walk in the light. I remember as a child listening to the stories that Jesus shared with his followers. The parables have so much meaning to us as we dive into the word and see all that is written. To see the words Jesus shared with the disciples when they asked for the meaning. Proverbs 25.2 in the Passion Translation says, God reveals the revelation of his word in the hiding place of his glory. But the honor of kings is revealed by how they thoroughly search out the deeper meaning of all that God says. The way revelation is concealed in the word is astounding. I know many of you have experienced times after you've had read verses when you suddenly see something you didn't see before. It has de developed a depth and revelation is meant just for you in that moment. It speaks into your heart and reaches right into your spirit. We are to dig into the word to find these hidden treasures beneath the surface. We are to dig into the word to find the hidden treasures beneath the surface. To dig for gold in the books, chapters, verses and words. To see the words not just as a means to communicate a story of a passionate creator God pursuing his creation through sin, disobedience and detachment, but of seeing a message delivered from Father God through Holy Spirit and breathed to life in those he used to write the words, but also for us as we read them today. Yet how often do we really dive into the word and read it as not just words on a page, but as God breathed, as it says in 2 Timothy 3.16. I know I have been guilty at times of not valuing the word as much as I should. There are always other things to do, and at times you can read the word and it just seems like words on the page. Finding myself in the mentality of reading the word as another thing to tick off on my to-do list for the day and not as, as a way of setting aside time to meet and connect with a loved one. Rushing through the words instead of lingering, skipping over seemingly unimportant parts and not seeing the importance of why they were added or understanding that every single word is placed there intentionally. I love reading through Genesis and how God and Adam walked together in the cool of the day. I imagine walking with God and wondering about what he would say, what I would say. Would there be words or would I just soak in the presence of the Almighty? What if it was Jesus walking with me? Would the scene be different? To be able to have a conversation with Jesus just makes me emotional even thinking about it. Matthew 13 is a chapter of many parables. One of them is the parable of the hidden treasure. In verse 44 to 46, it reads, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again, and then in his joy, went and sold all he had and bought that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and bought it. In this parable, the man found a treasure of great value. Do you think you just stumbled across treasure of great value or do you need to go looking for it? And when you go looking for it, are we valuing it so highly as to bankrupt our lives to obtain it? If you knew there was the greatest treasure anybody had ever seen in all creation, 
wouldn't you want to go and search for it? To have a treasure map to make the search easier. The scriptures are that treasure map to the greatest treasure in all eternity. It is a road map to Jesus. It is just like holding in your hands the conversations, the pursuit Father God has had with his people over all time. And in the word, he is now speaking to you today. It isn't that Father God is hiding to make it hard for people to know the truth. It is that he wants you to search for him, to hunger for intimacy and come looking for him. Like a father, he walks in the front door. He, he waits for his beloved child to come running into his arms as he picks them up and embraces them. When we come running after hearing God come through the door, we bless Father God as he blesses us. As I've spoken about previously, we cannot see without Holy Spirit first opening our eyes. We cannot understand without Holy Spirit opening our ears. But first we respond in our call in our hearts. Responding to um, our greatest need while not fully understanding, but reaching out our arms as Father God bends down to embrace us. When the disciples asked Jesus why he spoke in parables, he said, Because the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven has been given to you, but not to them. Whoever has will be given more, and they will have an abundance. Matthew 11, 10-12 He is saying that because we have responded to the call of Holy Spirit, and our eyes and ears have been opened, we can dig further into the kingdom of heaven and find more treasure. We will have an abundance poured out to those who seek first the kingdom, who prioritize the treasure Holy Spirit reveals to us each day, that our relationship with Father God, Jesus and Holy Spirit are the most important relationships. Sometimes I open the scriptures and I don't understand what I read. Well, maybe more than sometimes. I can understand the words, but what is Father God actually saying? And what is he saying to me? I can remember while I may not understand everything in the scripture, the Lord is wanting me to ask and to wait for meaning, to seek him and his face for scripture to be revealed. Scripture must also bring us to the foot of Jesus. It does not come above relationship with him. It leads us to him. I take comfort in my not knowing by reading Mark 4.22. For whatever is hidden is meant to be disclosed and whatever is concealed is meant to be brought out into the open. Trusting Father God means that as I pursue intimacy with him, he will continue to reveal who he is to me through the scriptures and revelations will continue to come. In my earthly body and my finite mind, there is no way to fully understand and know our creator God so infinite. But for now, in this life before eternity, I will continue to pursue Father God, knowing he is waiting to show me something new every day. He is expectant as he waits eagerly for me to start searching for treasure only he can give us. I would love to hear the treasures that you have found in the scriptures. Comment below and tell me that what you have learned, what God is speaking to you at the moment. I'd love to be able to build community and encourage each other with the revelations that God is speaking each and every day. Be blessed. Thank you for visiting today. I hope you were blessed. Remember, your light may be as small as a match. But many matches joined together can start a fire and ignite the world. Let's bring light to the darkness together.